Hello, my sweet children. I have a book for you today called Mr. Noisy and the Giant by Roger Hargreaves. Roger Hargreaves has many books, um, and hopefully I'll get to share with you a lot of them. This character is Mr. Noisy, and as you could probably tell from his name, he's quite noisy. Because this book also has incredible amount of adjectives, I'm going to pull some of the adjectives out to share with you today that describes his voice or a noisy voice. Okay, so here we go, Mr. Noisy and the Giant. This book has been published by Penguin Group and the author is Roger Hargreaves. It's written and illustrated also by Adam Hargreaves. Mr. Noisy is the noisiest person you will ever meet. His voice is so loud it can shake the birds from the trees. It can even shake the birds from the trees across the other side of the world. Last month, Mr. Noisy decided to call his friend Mr. Quiet who lives many, many hills away. But Mr. Noisy does not have a telephone. He does not need one. Do you know what he does when he wants to speak to someone? He goes out of his front door and shouts. When Mr. Quiet heard Mr. Noisy's booming voice, he nearly jumped out of his chair. Mr. Noisy's loud voice scares most people. When Mr. Jelly met Mr. Noisy, he was so frightened that he ran straight home and stayed under his bed for a week. And when Mr. Noisy said hello to little Miss Splendid, she made her hair stand on end. But Mr. Noisy is not the only person with a huge voice. There's one other person who is just as loud as Mr. Noisy. I heard the word huge that described voice, a huge voice. That person is a giant, a giant who lives surprisingly close to where you live, but even closer to Mr. Noisy. The giant is enormous. His feet are the size of sofas, he is so tall that he has to bend down to look into Mr. Tall's bedroom window. But by far the biggest thing about the giant is his voice. And that is the giant's biggest problem in life. Whenever he tries to talk to anyone, they run away. His huge, loud, booming, thunderous voice terrifies everybody. Just one hello is enough to send them running for the hills. And so the giant is a very sad and lonely giant. I heard loud voice, booming voice, and I also heard thunderous voice. I can tell that this giant and Mr. Noisy has big, big voices. One night, one hot summer's day, the giant was resting on the river bank, cooling his feet in the water when he heard footsteps, very loud thumping footsteps. And the very loud thumping footsteps were accompanied by whistling, whistling as loud as a train whistle. The giant was very excited. That must be another giant, he thought to himself. Another giant could be my friend. The giant peered over the hill, but on the other side of the hill, he did not see another giant. I'm sure you can guess who he saw instead. That's right. It was Mr. Noisy. Hello, boomed the giant in his quietest voice. But Mr. Noisy is so used to being loud, he did not run away like anyone else would have. 
Hello, he boomed back in a voice as loud as the giant's. In no time at all, the giant and Mr. Noisy were chatting. The loudest chat in the world. The giant so enjoyed their chat that he invited Mr. Noisy to tea. And to the giant's delight, Mr. Noisy accepted his invitation. The giant talked and talked and talked while Mr. Noisy sat sipping tea out of the giant's thimble. They talked right through the afternoon and into the evening. They talked so late that Mr. Noisy was invited to stay the night in the giant's extraordinarily large spare bedroom. In the giant's extraordinarily large spare bed. The two of them snored so loudly that the very it barely nearly shook the roof off the house extraordinarily large and spare. Describe that bed. Good adjectives. The next morning while having a swim in the giant's extraordinarily large bath, Mr. Noisy had an idea. He explained this idea to the giant over breakfast. I have a friend called Mr. Quiet boomed Mr. Noisy, and he used to live in a place called Loudland. I think that you and I should go on to a holiday to Loudland. What a great idea, thundered the giant. And so off they went. And it was perfect because you see in loud land, everything and everybody is loud, extremely loud. Even the worms are loud in loud land. Mr. Noisy and the giant could be as loud as they liked. They fitted in very well, except for one thing, one very large thing. The giant could not fit into his hotel bed. Mr. Noisy, can you go back and listen to this again and come up with many more adjectives? Write a list of all the adjectives that you hear that describe the nouns in this book. I'd love to see them. Have a great day, everyone.